I want to talk about my R. It's not a poem. I, I have my pens, my paints down here, my brushes, my brushes all around, my oil markers, my brushes, big paint cans, my art. I never know what I'm going to do. I start with a canvas, something like this. I put paint on it. I, I look for things to see, and the paintings emerge out of that. Once in a while, I'll paint someone's face. I know how to do that, but I find it much more interesting to see how it develops. Emotionally, I dive into the colors, and I'll tell you, even if I'm sick, if I'm ill, the joy I get from expressing my feelings and emotions in colors, in strokes, is so healing. It's taken my poetry and my lyric writing for me a step because it becomes a silent song where the colors sing to me like a melody. I feel harmonies in the colors. I feel sadness. I feel torture. I feel all the miseries of my life. And I try to come up with a resolution of joy. And sometimes, like this one, I'm not sure if it's finished. It's a new one. I started with brush strokes, with brushes, different color paints, oil, acrylic, on a board. I take boxes, candy boxes from Glucerna, and I paint on the other side of them. I take the covers from candy or pastries, mostly sugar-free. I take boxes that people give me. I take a, a card that someone gives me. I take Paul Zolo's first, first painting of me, first drawing of me, and I lost this jacket, so if anyone ever sees it, it's mine. I would love to get it back. But if I don't, that's life. That's the cost. So art has the capacity to touch lives and heal people. And with the great loss of all these artists, David Bowie, Tom Petty, John Lennon, Carl Wilson, classical music all over the world, we not, need to not only raise and praise the art, but we need to see the art in people. We need to see the art in the homeless people, in the hungry people that are sleeping on the concrete. We need to help the illness. We need to correct the things we do wrong, the way we abuse people in any form, and correct within ourselves first. And we've got to call these people out and make them realize their consequences. We just can't let it go. And art opens up all these possibilities to express things. At the same time, we have to not dictate our art or dictate our values, but allow each person to come freely. And to me, that is what is art about. And I'm very grateful, Paul, that you allowed me to express this first step of my approach to art. And God bless everyone. And for all the wrong I've done to people, I ask for your forgiveness. And I know I've done plenty, but I bless everyone. Stephen Kalinich here.